it's kind of died off now, but there's been an effort in the past from what I think is just a minority uh, of people who were fighting for difficulty options in Souls games. Um, it's, uh, in my opinion, it's a good thing that they haven't folded uh, from software or any of these other developers really haven't folded. Um, but what's your perspective on people who, who wanted those difficulty options? So this is a very hot button topic and one that I tend to not engage in because so my, my day job is usability and accessibility. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's, there's really two, two real camps. You have the camp that is adamant that accessibility is difficulty because making it, because difficulty is different to everyone else and removing uh, impediments to the difficulty is making the game more accessible. I am more of the thought that there is accessibility and approachability, and I feel that difficulty is an approachability setting in the context of games, not accessibility. When I think accessibility, I specifically think modifiers that are going to help someone overcome a explicit impediment or disability in some context. Stuff like color blindness settings, stuff like custom button mapping, uh, stuff, you know, hold the button instead of tap it. You know, look at the, the accessibility settings that we have in, in like uh, God of War or Spider-Man The Last of Us. Sony does a really good job here at making it so anyone can get in and experience these games. But when it just comes to, you know, make the enemy weaker or make it so your character can't die, to me that falls more into the approachability camp because... We're, we're, it's not just about overcoming an impediment. It's about just making it so that there, there is no difficulty curve. And I think part of the essence of those Souls games, of those difficult games, is overcoming that difficulty. You know, if I was going through Dark Souls or Elden Ring and there was an option where I just could not die, to me that doesn't feel like a Souls game anymore. And right. Yeah, at the most basic level, more people could experience it, but they're not really even experiencing what it is anymore. Like, mm -hmm. you know, rounding a corner and falling trap into an ambush. That's a lesson that you take away, you learn from, and you overcome it on a subsequent encounter. That, that death isn't meant to be seen as, oh, haha, -ha, you died, you're not getting past this. It's meant to be seen as something you overcome. Mm -hmm. And so... Without those challenges, without those, those, those uh, things we need to overcome, a Souls-like isn't even a Souls-like anymore. It's just like any other RPG. So I, I think accessibility and, and adding things like color blindness settings, adding things like uh, more button remapping, more, more visual control stuff, I think all that would be good. But I'm not in favor of directly modifying difficulty or adding invincibility modes or anything like that because i think the the barrier to approaching a souls game and overcoming those challenges is what makes it a souls game i think there's an audience that they they specifically they want those challenges and then it gets to the argument of well why not just make that optional you know make it so so it's, it's a toggle setting so that people that don't want to approach those challenges don't have to. And once again, I think that goes back to the essence of, well, at that point, you're not playing a Souls game. You're just playing any other RPG that you want. Like, the whole essence here is overcoming that, that specific difficulty, that encounter. That is the game. That, that it's, not, it's not just exploring the world and fighting the boss. You know, there's hundreds of games that do that. The... the challenge of the world design and the bosses is directly relevant to the experience and so i think if you take that away you don't have a, a souls game anymore you don't have what makes yeah. that game what it is 